Hey guys, so I thought I'd just come on here and chat about autism but um, with how I'm kind of coping with it and stuff over the last month or two you know I've kind of obviously opened up and uh, trying to get autism around the, out there sorry around the world and stuff but um, people don't see kind of what's going off on, on camera you know they, they see the lifting weights the fun stuff we do on YouTube but um, they don't see kind of the like the kind of your de if you're depressed, sad, stressed, etc. But you know, I'm just going to open up a wee bit because with my autism, the last month or two, I've been struggling big time. Um, I think this is the worst it's been since maybe I've started Strawman. Um, you know, I'm uh, kind of doing a lot of things that I did when I was a bit younger. Um, I always, always kind of make a plan out of my day and uh, always, always go over that two or three times, but it's been getting worse, so um, for example, um, if I've got a meeting with Luke or something to do for a sponsor sh on a Thursday um, and I get told on a Monday, usually what I would do is, you know, not say anything until the Wednesday and say stuff to Luke, but I'm getting up now Ah, uh, 6 a.m., 7 a.m., the first thing I'm doing is, oh, look, what are we going to do for on the Thursday? Or, you know, should we do this? Should we do that? Um, you know, how are we going to do it? Or if uh, if Luke messages me, then I message him. I don't get a message back uh, straight away. I'll keep messaging him and stuff. So that's getting really bad to now just because I don't, don't really know why. I think it's more because I'm, uh, like, in the house and not really getting out and about and it being able to kind of, shut down my emotions to sell but um yeah so that's a big example and there's a lot of like obviously Sinead you know she's an amazing amazing person and she's kind of lived with me for eight nine years and knows you know how I function and obviously you know people with a ha who have autism and people who live with people with autism do really struggle sometimes you know um I can frustrate her with the things I go over like you know for example I'll go over 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 finger there's a bill to pay i go right we have to pay this monday this could be a friday and i'll say look saturday sunday every day i'll i'll keep saying it until it's done or if we're going somewhere i'll keep saying it till we're going to that place or doing something you know um like today's wednesday conditioning today so i on sunday monday tuesday every day i woke up i made sure we were doing conditioning i said it three or four times a day every day and i don't know you know it's just getting a bit worse from just now you know it's i'm lucky i've got the gym and lucky i'm keeping my mind busy because i can see it in myself that you know people are getting frustrated with me um i can you know looks out getting a bit here like snap like a wee bit you know fr like, uh stressed even my wee brother now you know harry started the gym i'm seeing him more i'm kind of repeating myself a lot to him i'm kind of saying the same thing three or four times you know, everyone's gonna get stressed, frustrated with it, but um, you know, I get I get stressed and frustrated with it as well. You know, I can't cope what my head says or what my head is kind of thinking, and uh, that's the most annoying thing for me. Is like I said, I'll I'll repeat things time and time again. It, not even maybe not out loud, but in my head, I write stuff down on my phone that I gotta do this, gotta do this. I'm even setting up reminders every day now. You're like, oh, I've got to do this for the sponsors. I've got a condition today. And usually I never have to do that. But, you know, I'm waking up maybe two or three o'clock in the morning as well. And, uh, you know, I said I was going to do a video today. And in last two, uh, I woke up at 1 a.m., 2 a.m. on yesterday, uh, sorry, this morning. Um, f f planning what I was going to do in my head. Sinead said I was really re restless as well, rolling back and forth. But that's just because it was this on my mind. And this is what I've been doing for the last few days is really kind of overthinking things and uh, you know with no competitions after Bahrain as well I'm kind of getting very agitated and anxious about that because obviously like I won't have a plan I won't have a routine um, you know coming back onto a routine and plan has helped me big time like I said and the gyms helped me but that's only 50% of your day you know you can stay I can stay on a plan the whole day be fine but it's more just when I sit down 
and my head's in kind of like overdrive and like I said I'm always always wanting to do things straight away and obviously that's not how most people think most people are like right let them have time let them have 24 hours be patient you know if I don't get an if there's something wrong <laughs> or if I say a sponsor or myself or something I'll email them like I said I'm expecting to be back in touch with me by the end of the day and I won't get an email for two or three days so yeah I'm just wanting to kind of clarify you know it's just like although I seem not happy you know I, I can control my autism 90% of the time but like I said this kind of last lockdown with every being sh everything being shut maybe this last two two weeks or so it's been kind of hard you know like I've said um, I mean I'm repeating myself right now but just because you know, I still get nervous talking to the camera I still get nervous and anxious talking about autism you know I don't like to kind of bring up uh, the past I don't like to really talk about it by myself I hate kind of like how I acted when I was younger even how I've acted in the pa past with just you know making myself stressed making family stress anxious you know not being able to talk to people everything but now it's just I just want to put this out there you know and say to anyone that's like if anyone's got autism reach out if there's anybody say your husband if there's anyone that caters there or parents or partners that their partners or siblings or whatever's got autism reach out to me as well because I know so much about it because I've got it and also I know Sinead, Luke, my whole family know a lot about it because of me and uh, yeah because I'm with Luke like I said 99% of the day I'm with Sinead all the time I'm now with Harry a bit more these are the three people that are probably starting to see it well Luke and Sinead obviously but now Harry's coming into the gym and you can see me how excited I am on YouTube when I talk to Harry and stuff and when I'm training I'm, I'm always bickering away and stuff but that's just because like it's nervous I've got loads of things on my mind and that's how I act with, that's how I deal with things is trying to stay positive and not let um kind of my emotions get on top of me because I've done that before and it's uh not nice you know I lock myself away and not want to be kind of like uh sociable or anything but yeah um I hope this makes sense I'm not the best when it trying to express myself but I just want to put out there you know that the last few weeks I have been majorly struggling big time you know broken sleep which I've not had in since probably November December time uh, you know a lot of things in overdrive like I said because I've got a lot of sponsor stuff to do comps coming back I'm just three four five times checking out what I have to do texting Sinead all the time if I'm out the house like you gotta do this, you gotta do that, maybe five or six times a day. Same with Luke, as soon as I wake up, bang, I'm on my phone to him like, oh, we gotta do this, what are we doing today, blah, 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 you know, where I'm not just kind of chilling out and then just taking it as it comes. So, guys, everyone struggles, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys be aware that I struggle as well. I don't open, I don't usually open about it like this on social media. Like I said, I help other people, but I just wanted to make you aware, you know, that I'm, a straw man with a soft heart and uh, I struggle as well but I've got the best people around me and it's uh, all good so guys stay safe smile stay spicy and have a great great end to the week thank you